have so many tired and injured soldiers. When will this all end? Fuck, man. Colonel, what brings you here? Sir, we need to speak. What is it? General Robertson has been reported missing since 4 o'clock this afternoon. His convoy didn't arrive at the Central Evo City safe zone after they had gone to find Nathan Rogers. Well, have you sent out a search party to look for him? We've sent out two convoys with one of our tanks and two of our choppers, sir, but both came up with no results. Could this mean that Robertson is KIA? No, it doesn't. But it does mean that Robertson could be in trouble. We need to send out another search party. Sir, with all due respect, by the time we send out another large search party, it'll be night, and both you and I know that night is the most dangerous time to be outside those walls. Hmm, right. Is there anyone else there to control the Evo City safe zone at this time? Jonathan Lacey, Central Evo City's second-in-command, is also missing. If Jonathan isn't there, then who's in command? We don't know, sir. Contact the zone. Try and find Robertson's front-in-command, and tell them to keep a watch out for any JSF. I will not have those scumbags enter over those walls. Go! Yes, sir. Same old. Nothing ever changes. I shouldn't have run away from her. I hope you're out there still. Huh? Shame. I guess Luke won't be getting his rifle back anytime soon. Well, not until he shows up again. I remember when we were first here. We had some pretty good times, I guess.
Well, we're here. That's great. So if you, you know, could just take me to him, that'd be nice. Look, Nathan, there's something you should know. David isn't on good grounds with the military. There was an incident that happened years ago with the general and apparently it's my fault. You might want to prepare just in case he decides to reject your request. Uh, alright, but if I may ask, what happened exactly? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Follow me. David, you in here? You in here? Connor? Fuck, it's been a while since he visited. Hey, Co What the? Who the fuck is this? Whoa, whoa! Before you do anything, listen for a second, alright? Is this guy from the fucking bandit group down back east? If so, tell him to shove it up their ass. I am NOT giving you guys back your shit. You steal my stuff, you get fucked. This man's name is Nathan Rogers, and he's here to request something. I told him to prep- I'm gonna be assuming you're David Hawkins. My name's Nathan Rogers. I was hired by the U.S. military to find you. The U.S. Army? I haven't heard from them in over five years since the Battle of Big City. Wait a minute. The fucking army? What do those fuckers want with me now? If you were sent here to bring me back, you can screw off. Look, David. I know, since the beginning of the outbreak, you've been through a lot of shit, and I get it. Tough times, man. But right now, it is absolutely vital that you come with me. You could possibly be holding a cure, and we need to know if it's true or not. You could be the last hope humanity has left. Excuse me. Did you just say cure? Look, Rogers, I don't know who the fuck hired you or what they told you, but those days are gone. I don't hold a cure inside me anymore. In case you, you know, haven't fucking noticed, the infected are stronger and faster. Last time I met a guy who was immune, he turned when he got bit. What the hell are the chances I'm immune? I was hired by General Robertson to find you, David. He said that you may be the only person left that might have the stronger form of the cure inside of them. General Robertson? How's the old bastard doing? Look, David, I'm not here to catch you up or anything. You have a choice. Come with me or stay. Then go. Leave. I don't understand why you brought this shithead here to begin with, Connor. I brought Nathan here so you two could discuss matters about the situation, but so far I see it's not going the way I thought it would. Last time you brought someone here, you completely fucked us over. I didn't know he was a fucking bandit, David. He was injured and looked like he was in need of help. Wouldn't you have done the same damn thing? Look, I don't care anymore about that, alright? This is about now. I suggest you take Nathan here and fuck off. Why are you such an asshole, David? What happened to the David I knew years ago? That David is gone, Connor. And no one is bringing him back. Move the fuck on. Look here, Dave. I brought Nathan because he claimed he was to sent to find you. Guess what? Here he is! He's fucking phoned ya! He said this shit to you! You disagreed? You phoned David, explain it all to him. What now, Rogers? You go back and get your head blown off? No, but there probably will be serious consequences if I don't bring David back. Look, Nathan. I suggest you leave. You too, Connor. You both are causing me trouble enough as it is. No, David! Listen! You need to get your head back in the game and forget about her! That's right! I said it! She's not coming back, and if you haven't found her by now, what makes you think she's alive? 
My brother is dead, and here I am, still standing on my two feet still. It's hard, but I'm here, and so are you, David. If you don't help them, then you might as well sit back down on your ass and keep mowing over her. But if so, then maybe it's time we truly do go down our own paths. What do you mean? Seven years since we met back in my base, David. Three and a half years, we didn't see each other until Alan found your house. You declined to see Luke, the soldier, Roger, and Carson. Not only they are gone now, but without you, this entire group has fallen apart. Why should I stay any longer if none of them are here? Connor. Look. Things are gonna change. I promise. We'll get the group back together one of these days somehow, but... Right now, it's just not happening. All of that, it, it, it's over. You're right. It is over. Come on, Nathan, we're going. However, Rob wouldn't have wanted this. Wait! I'll go. No, 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 David. You made your mind up. Look here, everyone. Fighting ain't getting us nowhere. Instead, we should all be building this group back up. David, you could sit there and mourn over your wife's death, but in the end, it's not doing shit. Connor, you're not helping with David's cause. Shut the fuck up. And plus, you should be back at the rebel hideout preparing your men for what's about to come in the upcoming weeks. Nathan, the cure is now the least of our worries. Stop fucking worrying about it right now. It's time to gear up, people. Listen up, everybody. JSF, Joint Strike Force for those who don't know, planning on taking over every military safe zone in this country. They'll kill and slaughter their way through every soldier until the last one standing is killed off. From there, they are planning on reviving the Combine Army with many leftover civilians in those zones. If you do not step in, the commander will get what he wants. The soldier is already stationed in the central Evo City safe zone. From there, he will track down the JSF's hideout so we can get the upper hand on him. Roger? Is that you? Hey, Connor. Long time to see you, huh? Yeah, man. What the hell you been all this time? I was a grunt for the JSF for quite some time. It was torture, but it allowed me to get a lot of info about their main location. So, you found the exact coordinates, or just an outline? I found the coordinates. I just need the proper technology now to complete the process. Do you know anything about technology? Kinda. Soldier knows a lot more about that than I do, though, so he'll be the one helping us. Well, I don't know why the fuck we're just standing around, then. Let's get out of here!
Uh huh. Yes. What? Sir, I created the Joint Strike Force to protect the citizens of the United States alongside the U.S. military at the worst of times. Why would you assume I'm going off and not following orders? You do remember the incident back when Dr. Breen and you signed those contracts, indicating you'd secretly raid numerous military bases across the U.S. for supplies to help Project grow, right? That was years before the apocalypse even happened, sir. Plus, there was no proof of me going off and signing any illegal contracts with Dr. Breen back when the Combine project was first at hand. Commander, we still have many documents on those legal contracts you signed back in the first days of the Super Soldier Project. Why wouldn't we assume you were going off course on our contract terms? Why does this even matter on what we're discussing? We're 17 years after that entire incident and you still continue to bring this up? It goes to show how much we don't trust you, Commander. We sent you in to protect these zones, and not to kill innocent civilians or military personnel. Whatever. I've had it up to here with everything. This is the apocalypse, and there is no bringing this world back, sir. The world is gone, and no one can seem to get the, uh, that idea through their head. The world is far from gone, and there is much hope to bring it back, Commander. But you seem a bit fake-minded to understand such a thing. The AA Corp is trying their best to make a cure for the virus, but though with it mutating at a rapid rate, it's hard to make one, and you're not helping our cores either. The AAA Corp is still trying to fix their mistake, huh? What do you mean? Remember the meeting at the AAA Corporation head office? When we had every important being, like the President himself, to see what this operation could do? They said it was the opportunity for our army, our nation, they said it would set out to do the Combine Super Soldiers project. Commander, we should not speak of that hit. And guess what? It wasn't even what we were told it would be. Commander, I will not listen to any of this nonsense, good! It was a biological weapon. It was... the virus that started this all. Listen! You and the rest of your government officials rendered the project to be a failure and you moved on. But for some of the scientists saw potential in this and decided to... Our scientists never went back to the project Black Frost. It was a fucking setup. Someone broke into- Every one of you are liars. The AAA Corp, the government, CETA. We were told it was a better opportunity, sir, but instead you and the army and the many other greedy morons out there decided to destroy the world for what cause? Why do you not fucking understand, Commander? We've said it multiple times. The human race is on the brink of fucking extinction. And you want to go against your race for what purpose? Power! We're running out of fucking time. And if we don't find a cure soon, it's over! DONE! Then... That's on you. I'm no longer part of this war. I've already become part of another. Goodbye. You're in for a surprise then, Commander. I do not care about weapons to you or your men out there. And I hope you do not plan on returning back to base. Ow. Ah, fuck! Huh? What the hell? Oh, good. You're not dead. Commander, what the hell is going on? What'd you do to my men? What do you think? I killed them, General. You son of a bitch. Why would you do this? What did I ever do to you? You took away an opportunity to make the world a better place, and... Plus, I feel like we need to have a long talk, General. How'd you even find me? Wait, did the fucking government rat me out or something? The government didn't rat you out. One of your men stationed at the front gate did. Parker was his name? Either way, you were quite an easy find, I must say. Corporal Parker did this? That bastard! I knew he was always weak. Just like the majority of your army, General. Weak! I don't understand why you still continue to fight for a new world. Whatever your reason is, I suggest you drop the thought out of your head and hand me the keys to your army. Maybe that will- I will not hand you shit. Look here, Commander. My men are strong and will do anything to protect this country and its people no matter the cost. 
You remember the fight five years ago with the Combine? If you were put in this position, I doubt you and your army of untrained peasants would even come close to victory. Now hold on a second. The fact that your so-called elite military group hid away during the years of the apocalypse shows how much you're willing to sacrifice to bring the country back up on its legs. While me and my men have been doing all the dirty work, many of them have died in the process and you're telling me, we're weak? Look here, you good-for-nothing piece of crap. You may have won a war against the Combine and taken back towns against armies of infected, but you will not want to get in my way. If war is truly what you want, though, I will not hold back on kicking your sorry behind. Take a look around you for once. Maybe you'll see that fighting us isn't the best option. <laughs> this is the joke, right? Fighting you isn't the best option? I've had dozens of bandits and hordes of infected get mowed down in seconds by my army. None of which got to me. I'd like to see you try to get me in a war. I had a man who single-handedly went after Brain for the past seven years and still killed Brain when better and bruised. You think no one will get you? Think again. If my man can't, then I got a team that is willing to. This conversation is over.